Hey there. Welcome to Do It Yourself with Jake. Today we're going to be making ourselves a fine bicycle. First I'm going to show you the materials you're going to need for your homemade bicycle. First off, you're going to need a nice, cheap plastic snowboard. Preferably red. Unless you want to make a mountain bike, then you can do green. You're going to need this rack. It has to be white. Unless you want to make a skateboard. But you need white if you're going to make a bicycle, and that's what we're doing today. So, get a white rack. You're going to need a sponge. Just about this size. Here's my hand. Here's the sponge so you can kind of see how big that is. Gives you an idea. Alright. So you're going to need that. And of course you're going to need your handy dandy oversized wrench. It needs to be double the length of my hand. Alright, so let's get started with the actual building process. Of course you're always going to need some tape. That's, uh, that's inevitable. Hopefully you knew that before you even come into this video, so that's great. So, alright, so we're going to start off, we're going to take this, we're going to take our handy dandy giant wrench, we're going to bring over this garbage can, just so I can show you, I'd usually do it on my workbench, but it's a little bit, a little bit crowded right now. So I'm going to take this, put it right there, I'm going to take some tape, and just take off a little bit, at the start, you're going to have this just about level, right about, right about there. What we're going to want to do is go ahead and take some off. We're going to take a half strip, as you can see, not a full strip. Taking off basically half, we're going to rip that off. And this isn't exactly adhesive, but it's all right. It doesn't have to be adhesive. This, can, this is completely arbitrary. And you're going to go ahead and just go ahead and put that in right there. As you can see, it is completely attached to the snowboard. Now take your sponge. Put it right here and just go like this for about two hours. When we come back, I'll show you the rest. Well, that's about done. Uh, we cut from uh, the earlier portion. I've been working on this for about two hours. Just, just got to sand it out, you know, and uh, I've been sanding this, uh, this nice material. And it's made, it's made a fine bike, you know. The, um, the, the, the material that I used, such as the plastic and the snowboard, was, was good. I, I felt like the, uh, the giant wrench could have been a little bigger, so I'd recommend that to you. Uh, folks at home. So, uh, as you can see, uh, the fact that we, uh, here, and I've brought this out so I can show you, this is a material we used in the bike. This was, uh, this was a, like a shelf we used, and uh, this is thin material. Therefore, it made a thinner bike, as you can see right there. See, the thin wheels, you know, thin materials, thinner bike, just logic, you know? Makes complete sense. Now, uh, <clears throat> if you wanted to make a mountain bike, remember, this would have to be smaller, this would have to be much smaller, you'd have to be using a different thickness of a wire in your shelf, and you'd also have to have a smaller wrench. Uh, I, would, I would prefer a thin bike because this can go faster and stuff, but if you're, if you're a mountain biker, you know, you're going to want a mountain bike. Uh, this will not work on mountain bikes, I'm not a bike expert, um, but this is a road bike as you can see, so uh, of course if you're a road biker you're going to like this. Uh, if you're looking for a way to maybe make a, a, a slower bike for some reason because you're a moron, just leave it in the comment section. Until then, Keep DIYing. Y'all folks have a nice day.